<clears throat> Hello, so this video is going to be about differentiating the function r cinch or r hyperbolic sine of x. So in this video, we want to differentiate this function. Uh, but what is this function? So the r cinch function is just the inverse of the cinch function. So it's the inverse function of uh, the cinch function. Uh, you may notice just out of interest that we've not got a C uh, written between the R and the S there. Um, so just for your interest, so we had before that the inverse function of the sine function was arc sine of X. Um, and the inverse function of the cinch function is R sine, uh, sorry, R cinch of X with no C. So this is actually by design. So there's a reason for this. So if we think about trigonometric functions, and inverse trigonometric functions like this arc sine. So this is all based off the unit circle. So we've got the unit circle like so. And if we want to calculate a sine value given a particular angle x, so sine is just the height from there to there on the unit circle. So this is sine of x. So essentially what the arc sine of function does is it tells you this angle. And this angle is intrinsically uh, related to the arc length there. So to calculate an arc length of a unit circle, um, you can use the fact that um, if you know the angle, the x, uh, the x value, you can calculate this arc length there. So that's why arc uh, is written for these inverse functions. Um, so it is by design. But when we talk about hyperbolic functions such as cinch, cosh, and tanch, uh, we don't have to write the c there, and we shouldn't write the c there, because the R is basically representing the word area. So if we think about hyperbolic functions, uh, so we do this by uh, sketching the line y equals x and the line y equals negative x. So if we sketch the function, uh, so x squared subtract y squared equals 1, well, that's not actually a function. Uh, it's actually a uh, just a, a mapping. So this uh, mapping looks like so. So this is x squared uh, subtract y squared equals 1. So the uh, the cinch and the cosh values, so what are they? So you, you can draw a line from the origin to any point, uh, any point up here. So the cinch value is just defined as that height there. So cinch of x is this height. And cosh of y is just the distance from there to there. So that's cosh of y. Sorry, cosh of x, I should say, uh, in there. So why have r, as in why have area cinch at the start of an inverse cinch function? So this x value is actually related to the area here. So this blue shaded area trapped between the x-axis uh, this straight line between the origin and this coordinate there and the hyper, uh, hyperbola. So this uh, this shaded area in blue is actually x over 2. So the inverse cinch function, so it actually tells us what the area is trapped between there. So that's why we have r rather than arc uh, in front of cinch when we're denoting the inverse cinch function. Um, but that, yeah, that's just for your personal interest rather than the main topic of the video. So we want to go and differentiate this function. So that's what we're going to do now. So differentiating arc, sorry, not arc, uh, r cinch of x. So that's what we want to do. So again, what we can do with uh, something like this is we can let y be equal to r cinch of x. Now, what we can do to both sides is apply the cinch function to both sides. So cinch is the inverse of the r cinch function. So in such case, we're going to get x on the right hand side. And that's because cinch of r cinch of x will get us the variable x. So now what we can do is we can actually differentiate both sides with respect to x to so apply d by dx to both sides. And then if we do that, what we get is we get d by dx on the left side of this uh, cinch of y function. And this equals d by dx of x on the right side. But when you differentiate x with respect to x, you just get the number one. So on the uh, the right side, we're going to get the number one. 
on the left side. So we're differentiating a function of y, but with respect to the variable x. We can't just do this off the bat. We're going to have to use the chain rule. And we use the chain rule here because y, so the y inside this cinch function is actually a function of x, as we can see up here, namely the r cinch of x function. So our chain rule stated this. So when we differentiate a function of a function of x, the result we get is df by dg multiplied by dg by dx. So in our case, on the left-hand side of the page there, so the f function would be the cinch function, and the g function would be the y function. OK, so now we can just use our formula for the chain rule up there and just apply it to the left-hand side here. So we're going to get d by dy multiplied by, uh, sorry, d by dy of the cinch function of y. So that's that part of there. And then multiplied by dy by dx there. Now we actually know what the derivative of cinch of y with respect to y is, because we did this in a previous video. So when we differentiate the cinch function, we actually just get the cosh function. So this is going to be cosh of y in there. And then we're multiplying, the, uh, multiplying this by dy by dx. And then this equals the number one. OK, great. So if we go to a new page then, so we've got cosh of y dy by dx equals one. So therefore, that must mean that dy by dx is equal to one over cosh of y. And of course, y is just the function r cinch of x. That's the whole point of this video. We want to differentiate that function. Um, so therefore, we can conclude that d by dx of r cinch of x is equal to one over cosh of y. OK, so we get that result there. However, we've got a bit of a problem. So uh, we're differentiating our cinch of x, a function of x, and we get a function of y as an answer. Um, so this can't be right or this can't be the correct answer. So what we've got to do is we've actually got to use a hyperbolic identity. So the identity that we're going to use is cosh squared subtract cinch squared equals the number one. So this is just a hyperbolic, a key hyperbolic identity. So what we can do is just rearrange this to make cosh the subject of the formula. And if we do so, we get this. So cosh of y equals the square root of one plus cinch squared of y. OK, so we get that result there. Uh, but if we go back here, what you will notice is that x is actually equal to cinch of y. So that means that x squared is equal to cinch squared of y. So this is just equal to the square root of one plus x squared like that. And so actually what we get up here is just one over the square root of one plus x squared like so. And that would be our final answer. So in conclusion then, when we differentiate the r cinch function, so the inverse hyperbolic sine function, the result we get is one over the square root of one plus x squared uh, for all x values. And that is the final result.